hey dude read aloud i have lot of issues how to solve a leave read aloud man see the repeat sentence do you even know how to do that i am facing a lot of issues it's not just that read a lecture also have problems what about write from dictation what about reading fill in the blanks dude i'm getting crazy do you have any one video which explains everything at once what bro what are you talking about man well if you have that question you just have to watch this video till the end i have inculcated each and every technique the best approaches the mistakes done how to overcome the mistakes what's the solution with respect to each and every module in your pta exam so don't forget to watch this video till the end don't forget and make sure you make a note of each and every technique that will be taught via this video hey everybody nakul here from skills pd academy i'm back with at another video where i talk about every module in your pt exam with respect to speaking writing listening reading and help you understand the tips and tricks for all the modules uh, let me just share my screen okay so let's start with the very first module in pt pt speaking called read aloud 90% of the people have problem here 35 marks this module contributes towards your speaking and 35 marks this module contributes towards your reading separately so most important video the tips and tricks the very first thing is don't fumble you fumble the 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 hesitation the the not even one if one hesitation once if you fumble two three marks you would lose be very careful have learned no intonation means speaking up down up down i have the paragraph there a read aloud paragraph when i talk about no fumble fumbling is what stephen hawking was regarded as this is the fumbling hesitation you should not do that intonation stephen hawking was regarded as one of the most you don't get marks at all if you do this pitch issue some people will have a pitch issue for a male we suggest it should be above 120 or 130 hertz for a female it should be below 250 hertz if you are wondering what your pitch issue what your pitch is sorry you can download the voice pitch analyzer app in the android phone or in the iphone you can download voice tools app and try to find and accordingly you know manipulate the pitch normal speed is fine don't go fast stephen hawking was regarded as one of the don't do that you may get speaking 90 reading will go down and don't speak very slow stephen hawking was regarded as this also will get you low mark and then coming to the content content is not a priority what people do people um, end up taking care of each and every word and thereby they fumble what gives you mark content pronunciation fluency no 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 it is only the fluency don't worry about the content and the pronunciation you worry about it your fluency goes down now cool. how to pronounce this word how to pronounce this word no marks for that you either pronounce it the way you want it or you can skip it but make sure you don't fumble you don't hesitate you don't speak up and down you don't emphasize stressing the words but some difficult words what i should do the next tip is skip difficult words but fluency should be maintained for example in this line let's say this word you don't know stephen hawking was regarded as one of the most brilliant physicists in history can i do that 100% yes but fluency should be maintained stephen hawking was regarded as one of the most brilliant physicists in history now you will lose marks if you are pausing there can i read one line see i'll tell you this one line will work but but everyone cannot read one line perfectly no please give it a thought one line is something here correct stephen hawking was regarded as one of the most brilliant theoretical physicists in history if you read like this and click next it will mostly work but everybody will not speak like this how people speak i'll tell you stephen hawking was re- regarded as one of the most brilliant physicists in history and you click next made full of blunders in the very first line and click next what software will think first line only you made three to four mistakes if you had read the rest of the lines gone case so it will backfire it will give you less marks it's not about one line or full line it's about reading it perfectly now reading without any fumble so one line if you make two three mistakes trust me it will count it as nine mistakes one line you spoke and made no mistakes you will get full marks 
करेक्ट सो होप यू आर गेटिंग इट इज नॉट लाइक इज वन लाइन वर्किंग वन लाइन वर्किंग वन लाइन वर्किंग वन लाइन विल वर्क इफ यू स्पीक परफेक्टली बट वन परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल स्पीक परफेक्टली द रेस्ट रिमेनिंग नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल हैव प्रॉब्लम हियर विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू फम्बलिंग हेजिटेशन सो माई सजेशन टू वन स्पीक वन लाइन मैन एटलीस्ट स्पीक टू लाइन सो दैट सॉफ्टवेयर गेट एन ऑफ डेटा टू जज यू होप यू आर गेटिंग इट फ्रॉम वेयर आई एम कमिंग एट okay so i'll now show you the final version on how to speak the read aloud stephen hawking was regarded as one of the most brilliant theoretical physicists in history his work on the origins and structure of the universe from the big bang to black holes revolutionized the field while his best selling books have appealed to readers who may not have hawking scientific background hawking died on march 14 2018 at the age of 76 this is to be to read hope you're making most from this video let me just show um one more um, read aloud paragraph so for this what i'm doing is i don't know how to speak this word i let's say don't know how to speak this word i don't know how to speak this word how do i manage a parachute works by forcing air into the front of it and creating a structured wing under which the pilot can fly parachutes are controlled by pulling down on lines which change the shape of the wing cause it to turn or to increase or decrease its rate hope you are getting it whichever the word i have a trouble i have problems i just skipped it but when i skip i don't make any fluency errors hope you are getting it it is not the pronunciation and not the content it is the fluency hope you understood let's quickly move on to the repeat sentence the second module very simple man i even made a video uh, i think the last video two days ago on this 30 marks it contributes to listening 30 marks it contributes to speaking what matters here zero fumbling no hesitation while you speak content is not a priority people think every word has to be spoken perfectly no 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 not required what matters the most is fluency is 5 mark content is 3 don't worry about content too much you need to be fluent 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 watch my recent video yesterday or day before two days back i posted it you will get complete knowledge on this and how with what speed i should speak copy the speaker's speed okay so let me also demonstrate with few of the repeat sentence um just hold on for a second so i've got these audios let me just show how to speak in repeat sentence one second all right the batsmen crouched down upon their bats and defended stubbornly the batsman crouched down and defended stubbornly i miss the few words in the middle if i speak i may fumble so i miss that words i spoke the batsman crouched down and defended stubbornly i miss that middle part but i'm fluently speaking i'll get full marks next one all human beings have a right to the basic material requirements for a life of dignity all human beings have arrived to the life of dignity see with the speech i'm pronouncing it completely find the clarity is fine fluency is precise fluency is precise content is not content no mark boss 60 60 50 60% content you give that's enough next one the earth has enough for every man's need but not enough for every man's greed the earth has enough for man's needs and not greeds i'm trying to be fluent i miss lot of words let's say there are 12 words i spoke 7 to 8 words correctly without fumbling hope you are getting it let's take one more here's a game to test your skills of persuasion here's a game to test your persuasion the lot of words to skill something in the middle i skipped it but i was being fluent and because of that i get full marks here hope you are understanding the technique a repeat sentence is actually easy let's quickly move on to describe image a lot of people will texted in the comment and left a comment in the previous video make a video on describe image make a video highest keyword lowest that color this color and getting confused what to say how to speak know that the technique for describe image before that it contributes it's a low priority module 5 to 10 marks max not even 10 less than 10 marks towards your speaking alone you are not supposed to fumble no hesitation no intonation whatever the things that was applicable to your read aloud same thing gets applied here pitch issue like i told in the read aloud correct it if there is a pitch issue normal speed 
and this is the key content software cannot read a picture uh, understand please try to understand what i am telling you software cannot read what is inside a picture we can read because we have eyes the functional eyes software is like a blind person he can listen but he cannot read since he can listen you give what he wants he doesn't know software doesn't know what is inside the picture so this is the template all my students have spoken you can speak but just speaking this will not get you marks speak this the way you did in the read aloud that alone gives you the marks the given image represents a beautiful image there must have been a popular debate about the information given in the image whether it is true or false however the information given in the image appears to be true from the image it is clear the topic given is not very common and hence it needs a lot of research to calculate the maximum and the minimum in conclusion the given image includes a lot of complicated data and analysis with all the sufficient data this is what you should speak or make your own template no marks for that don't have to pay someone if that person says i have template working template for describe image i'll give you give me money please please don't do that uh, don't give money also you can make your own template template will not give any mark what gives you mark the flow of speech should be same as the read aloud hope you are getting it this you can speak repeatedly for five, four five images no content required um repeat the same answer whatever the image bar graph flow chart pie chart if they give my face also speak the same this will take you some 20 to 25 seconds to speak click next immediately once done i hope describe image is fine nakul can i trust you <laughs> of course you can i'm not lying this will work don't worry this will work all right <clears throat> so let's go to the rita lecture not a high priority module 5 to 10 marks towards your speaking and 5 to 10 towards your listening no fumble no hesitation whatever i told for describe image in rita lecture same thing gets applicable here content not huge priority um any template you can use so this is the template that i have that i insist my students to use don't use a template which has a very you know um, little length like the lecture talked about he said about he said about he said about he said about you are pausing he said about you are pausing fluency break so here you see the lecture gives the important key points and that 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 later speaker mentioned about the importance of here the speaker was this gives you that flow hope you are able to understand few templates may not give you the flow so i'm not against it you use which other template you want you maintain a flow you get the marks but this will give you that flow easily technique to write to do um rita lecture i made a recent video on rita lecture please check that as well um but here also i'll explain you it's two things being tested you are listening you're writing you're listening writing you're listening writing don't do two things at once i can either talk or i can eat what if i talk and eat at the same time i'm going to make a mess isn't it so same thing here you don't listen and write at the same time when you listen don't write and when you write don't listen repeat this we do rewind this video if you don't understand when you listen don't write when you when you write don't listen only one thing turn by turn write for 5 seconds listen for 5 seconds write for 5 seconds listen for 5 seconds this has to be done i'll also show you how to do this um okay let's start that listen i write i listen i write don what are you doing with all that candy oh great now i'm going to have to find some place else to hide my stash of goodies you right. just can't trust right. anyone these days i'm not listening that is in the pot calling the kettle black what are you implying yael Well, okay, did you know, know that in several laboratory experiments, scrub jays, relatives of the blue jay, hid their extra food more cautiously when other scrub jays were around? Deleted. In fact, if another scrub jay were visible oh, when the first jay buried its food, the first jay was more likely I'm to not listening, I'm not listening. later and rebury it in another oh, location. So, I'm what listening. does that have to do with my candy? Well, it shows that some uh, birds are uh, capable of more complicated behavior than we previously thought. Scrub jays are notorious for stealing food from each other. Notorious so for stealing food from each other. Cautiously when scrub other scrub jays are present, 
might mean that they're able to speculate about the future behavior of their observers. Really disturbing me. Birds from species not known for thievery don't show the same reburying behavior. Oh, so you're arguing something like, it takes one to know one. Exactly. In fact, when scientists allowed some scrub jays to dig up another jay's food after seeing where it was buried, Scientist. the birds allowed Hello. to steal were more likely to scrub rebury their jays. own food later when given Ooh. the chance. Hey, are you implying that the reason some I food? hide my I think that's enough. See, one minute, 30 I seconds. Steal. Usually one to one minute, 30 seconds. I've written a lot. But now the next step is very, very important don't understand what you speak i repeat i repeat i repeat do not try to understand what you speak if you understand you try to fix the mistakes correct right you try to understand you try to correct it all mess up here what matters is only the fluency not the grammar not that it is giving a logical meaning making sense nothing is required just speak the template of the first line i'll just speak this Second line, second line. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about to hide my stash of goodies. In the beginning, the speaker explained about what are you implying, yo yo. Later, speaker mentioned about the importance of scrub jay, relatives of blue jays hid their good, not good, sorry, food. You cannot do this uh, by typing mistake. If you write good, continue, hit their good more cautiously. Here, the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that what does that have to do with my candy? Scrub jays are notorious for stealing their food from each other. In conclusion, the lecture gives the important key points about scientists that are scrub jays to dig up some dead, 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 dead. I am continuing the same way as I did in the read aloud. So hope you understood the technique. You cannot fumble, you cannot go up and down, no intonations, no stresses, no hesitations. Continue speech and write whatever you can. Phrases, don't write a small keyword. Okay, quickly we will move on to um, the answer short question. Overrated module. Give me some money, I'll give you repeated 300 to 3000 answer short question. I will not give any mark, man. One to two marks, max to listening. But in one of the exams that I took, I skipped this entire module. Still, I got 90 overall. So not an important one. You know the answer, you speak the answer. They'll give a question, you know the answer, you speak. If you don't know the answer, repeat the question. It's simple. I mean, it's not a priority. You don't have to give a lot of time into this for your preparation. Okay, so after this comes, summarize written text, um, again, overrated module, not a priority, hardly three to four marks towards your reading and three to four marks towards your writing. A very simple method, after a full stop, copy paste the entire line till you find a full stop, not a question mark, nothing else, till you find a full stop, copy paste. And again, repeat the method one more time, for one more line. After full stop, copy paste the entire thing up to another full stop. Between them, add a comma, add a connector, and that's all summarized written text is. 45 to 55 words is enough. Don't have to write 70 to 73 words. Of course, Pearson says 75 words is fine, but don't write 45 to 55 is enough. So look at this, I've got a big paragraph. After a full stop, see here, I'm copy pasting till I find another full stop. After a full stop, I'm copy pasting till I find another full stop. The first line I retained here, second line I retained here, between them comma and. That's it, no spelling mistake. Zero spelling mistake, do this zero grammatical mistakes. You get complete three to four marks towards your reading as well. Don't write on your own a synonym that this, uh, because some trainer from IELTS background teaching PTE would have told you, use a synonym, you'll get more marks, 10,000%, no. It's a software. It will not understand synonyms. You just have to copy paste exactly as it is. You'll get full marks, four, three to four, not 90, three to four. Let's quickly move on to essay. 12 to 15 marks to writing um, yes to some extent it is a priority there are a lot of new changes in 2023 with respect to essay writing i really hope you've watched my essay video as well so spelling matters the most you make one or two spelling mistakes two three marks you would lose 10 spelling mistakes i forget about 65 uh, and the most importantly don't use this one word template like two, three words you need to add, rest template will cover. That is not working 100% verified. I've seen many reports. I've shared it in my previous essay 2023 new changes. They have made two videos. Please watch that. There also I've explained. Um, avoid using them. 
avoid using spellings which you are not sure of i don't know the correct spelling of this then don't use that word okay write a mixture of simple compound complex sentence what is that each and everything i've explained in my recent video i don't find the necessity to explain it here i have put it in the description that video link please check it check that out basic grammar should be correct all these are mandatory 12 to 15 marks to writing this is the template that i've shared any template is fine but as long as you write four to five sentences on your own avoid those templates where you put three keywords four keywords topic name avoid it because it's not working otherwise i would have asked you to use last year i've never told this but this year it is not working this template check my other video which i put in the description uh, you will get every information on this all right so let's quickly move on to the reading module reading fill in the blanks is ocean big ocean um there are a lot of methods for this but before that 25 to 30 marks it contributes towards your reading alone most important what matters is grammar is must you need to learn the grammar um, reading skill start reading novel your reading skill will improve I read it slow I understand if I read a bit more faster nothing is going inside my mind if you belong to this category how do we fix it improve reading skill improve visualization technique start reading novels half an hour to 45 minutes a day within a month things will be fixed Trust me, you have to do this. Don't just practice, practice, practice. These things are important. And there are many approaches, clue-based approach, grammar-based approach, collocation-based approach. All this will help you. Now, what are these? I've made many videos. I've put that those videos in the description. Watch them. Especially this watch my 10 grammar shortcuts that I did last week. Um, the video is gaining a lot of views. You can watch that. It's helping a lot of students. And watch my day 1 to 30 reading tips. Type this skills PT day 1 to 30. The link has been shared in the description as well. Uh, Where in day 1 to 30, 30 videos, each video has um, five blanks. So, a lot of questions, more than 150 blanks have been discussed. Approach is discussed, which you don't get anywhere else. So, watch them, do them. All this will help you try to solve the fill in the blanks in less than 2 minutes, 0.5 or 2 minutes. You cannot take 3, 3.5 minutes to solve a reading fill in the blanks. If you do that, you will get that, you know, uh, time of time problem. Time crunch will be there. Be very careful. 2 or 2.5 minutes and not more than that you can take. The same thing, whatever I told, will be applicable towards your reading, writing fill in the blanks, which contributes 25 to 30 marks towards your reading and writing separately. Be very careful. Same things. Watch these two series. I think you should be in a right place, uh, right position to understand. And if you need online assistance, any point of time, it's a paid course. You can join us. We have more than, I think, 400 mocks. Each has 30 blanks into 400. More than like 3,000, 4,000 questions. Approach plus lie mock plus grammar of probably 30 hour of session. Everything will be given. Anytime you decide, you can reach us out. That will probably aid you in a much faster way all right and having said this <coughs> reordering the paragraph there's one more uh, one which i have not included here it's not a priority four to five marks it may contribute you watch my uh, reorder seven step formula for reorder tips and tricks i've shared the video in the description that will give you entire shortcut seven shortcut formula something seven shortcuts uh, will give you entire thing on how to do read aloud reorder that's no need to practice a lot. Know the approach, try to implement. If you get a good marks there, well and good. Otherwise, it's okay. Without reorder also, you can get 90 in reading. And the way the software works is something different. Fill in the blanks if you are good, which contributes approximately 50 to 60 marks. Reorder, you don't have to worry. Okay? So, reorder is not a priority. Don't worry too much about it. It's the reading. Fill in the blanks. So, having said this, um, reorder. Then we have two more modules called Choose single answer reading, choose multiple answer reading. A big paragraph will be given, you have to read and select, I don't read. Select one, click next immediately for choose multiple, select one or select two, negative marking that too, don't worry. All these modules are given so that you spend your useful time on this and you will not get enough time on the important modules. Reading module is tricky, it needs a lot of time. Around 30 minutes will be given, you should solve 15, 16 questions. If you try solving this, fill in the blanks, gone case. Be very careful. Skip the modules, just click one answer and immediately move on to the next. 
so having said this reading is done now we come to summarize spoken text listening um, 10 minutes will be given within 10 minutes you should listen and write as well all right so this is like little lecture five to eight marks to listening five to eight marks uh, to writing if there are two questions probably eight mark one question four to five mark listening and writing it contributes use the template i have the template here I'll, I'll share that to you again use phrases not the keyword don't write one one word try to write three to four words one phrase simple phrase i'll show you how to do that no spelling mistake make sure you don't make any spelling mistake and 60 to 70 word is ideal don't write 51 52 pearson says 50 to 70 words um, but try to write above 60 words and less than 70 words no grammatical mistakes all these will cost you mark in listening and writing both avoid using just one keyword that template same technique as written lecture if you remember when you listen don't write and when you write don't listen the template you can have any template try to reduce the number of words in the template because uh, summarized spoken text is different you need to write some content correct right so talk was about firstly secondly furthermore in addition in conclusion this is what i suggest to my students who need 79 little bit you can add for 65 or 79 people the speaker talked about the speaker said it was mentioned that it was highlighted that you can try to use this linking words as well and i have the same audio but earlier we had this right so the same using this i'll show you how to write um, the Summarize spoken text. Uh, the talk was about mm, scrub JS. I'm just writing it. Uh, firstly, the speaker talked about. See, I'm correcting my grammar. This you need to develop that sense. I cannot write talked about to hide. Talked about doing something. Talked about hiding the stash of goodies um then we have later the speaker or a speaker don't write just speaker later the speaker said scrub j see this is a phrase scrub j's are i'm using the word are though i have not written there are relatives of blue jays scrub jays relatives of blue jays sorry on that scrub jays relatives of blue jays hit there we'll just copy paste this hit there good no it's not good it's food <laughs> sorry on that um, hit their food more conscious cautiously spelling is right and then we have um, furthermore it was mentioned that you can add this entire sentence and then I'm gonna add in conclusion or in the end anything is fine If you have not written this many information, then try to add something like uh, in the beginning, the speaker gave important information about topics that are well suited for the society. Something like these things you can also add if you have written, let's say, only let's say this and you have written only this and you couldn't write more something like this you can add on your own to make it some 50 sorry 55 or 60 plus to 70 words and if you take here it is 58 words um, now I want to add more what I'll do um, in conclusion It was an informative talk now it became 65 words this is what it is grammatically it is perfect 
um, see whatever I have written the same thing I'm using it here uh, perfectly I think it's going with so this is summarized spoken text hope you understood so let's quickly move on to uh, the next one is choose single choose multiple answer highlight um, correct summary select missing word these four are dummy bogus you're not supposed to do them you spend time and do it the last module is right from dictation you don't get time at all and these modules are intentionally kept so that you spend more time on them so right from dictation you get less time you get less time in right from dictation 45 to 50 marks you lose you pay using your credit card again and subscribe or enroll for the exam again by paying money <laughs> isn't it so so make sure these four choose single choose multiple highlight correct summary select missing word click one and move on don't spend even a single second on that skip this modules click one and move on you don't lose marks trust me on this you will lose marks if you do this so you're not supposed to do this click one and move on immediately so having said that we have listening fill in the blanks most important 10 to 12 marks to listening and 10 to 12 marks to writing listening skills and spelling what's the listening skill if i say the word science see here s c i e n c e s i g n s both are signs which one is correct getting it right so you need to understand the context second is writing the correct spelling uh, there are some techniques here grammar things which i will help you understand how to do this so i'm going to play the audio let's see how to do that so this is the audio i'm just playing right now we will just remove this off Be ready the bridge was completed in 1894 it is about 240 meters, 800 feet in length and provides an opening 76 meters, 250 feet wide. Its twin towers rise 61 meters, 200 feet above the Thames. Between the towers stretch a pair of glass-covered walkways that are popular among tourists. tourists. The walkways were originally designed to allow pedestrians to cross even while the bridge was raised, but they became hangouts for prostitutes and thieves and so were closed from 1909 to 1982. The tower bridge was operated by hydraulic pumps driven by steam until 1976 when electric oh. motors were put. I know, don't forward the video. I know you thought, hey, it's very easy. Let me forward. No, no, no. I'm going to explain you a technique. Pay more attention. See here, provides tourists. How do I know? Sometimes audio may not be clear. How can I do this? There are a lot of grammar techniques called subject verb agreement. See here. The bridge was completed. It is about 240 meters and it provides. After it, it's he, she, it. Third person singular verb will have is. He eats. It provides. So you need to add this S. Same thing here. Article session. We have separate one hour article, two hour subject verb agreement. A lot of things in our course. Anytime you made up your mind, you can make up your mind. You can join our course as well. It's an online paid course. See here. Among a tourist if you don't have this uh, it would be tourists pay more attention these things are really really important you can rewind the video if you didn't understand there is no concept of among tourist among a tourist or tourists so your a is not there it should be s and if you hear were after were verb in the third form ed designed after was verb in the third form ed raised Prostitutes, yes, say you're also thieves. People write T H I E F S wrong. It is V E S. Operated by hydraulic, hydraulic spelling. You need to get it right. So if you get the approach here, spelling correct here, you mostly gonna end up getting 90 overall because this is the module that makes a huge difference for your scores. Two or three questions will be there 10 to 12 to 15 mark people end up getting zero here or two out of 12 that's where the marks will just trickle down hope you are getting it so having said this um, we will come to the last module that is right from dictation okay before that sorry we have highlight incorrect words one of the most important uh, modules just give me a second we will do this highlight incorrect words sorry on that so before right from dictation we have this module 10 to 12 marks towards your listening and 10 to 12 marks towards your reading 
reading will uh, get affected with this it's a listening skill and reading skill what is the module they're gonna give you a paragraph like this a text will be given audio will be played in the audio few of the things will be told differently for example tiger tusks tiger doesn't have a tusk i know that but let's say the audio say tiger tusks you listen the word tiger but you read the word elephant what you listened what you read there is a mismatch when that mismatch is there use your mouse do a single click on this word so that it gets highlighted in the exam that's all highlight and correct words negative marking is there i'll explain you what it is so let me just show you you also try to do it i'll just play this audio elephant tusks evolved from teeth giving the species an evolutionary advantage they serve a variety of purposes digging lifting objects gathering food stripping bark from trees to eat and defense the tusks also protect the trunk, another valuable tool for drinking, breathing, and eating, among other uses. Just as humans are left or right-handed, elephants, too, are left tusked or right tusked. The dominant tusk is usually more worn down from frequent use. This is highlight incorrect one. If you select these five, you easily end up getting five out of five. But if I select this also, I heard it is some other word. Now, do I get to have negative marking? Yes, see one mark, one mark, one mark, one mark, one mark, five. This is negative marking, five minus one. You end up getting four. Be very careful, most important module. But let's say I did not select this, but I did not select this also. Now, do I have negative marking? Uh, let's check that out. One mark, one mark, one mark, one mark, four. This is not selected. Do I get negative marking? No negative marking. This will be four only. So in a doubt, don't select. And where do we go wrong? We end up reading them wrong. We read what we listen or read what is there. Many would have not selected this involved and evolved. They would have heard the word evolved and read this as evolved. Read what is there, hear what you listen. Hope you are getting it. Uh, highlight incorrect words play a major, major role towards your reading scores. Having said this, let's quickly move on to write from dictation. 40 plus marks towards your listening and 40 plus marks towards your writing. What matters is spelling, listening skill. Listening skill, you understand and write. Don't memorize. You listen, you understand. Divide them into phrases. I'll show you how to do that. And then you're supposed to write. Can I add extra words? 101% yes. How many words? Some seven to eight words you add. The sequence matter, can I write from this side, that side, if the audio is my name is Nakul, can I write his name, my Nakul? Yes, that word has to be there. Will it affect my listening or will it affect my writing? No, it will not affect. Add extra spellings and punctuations, comma, full stop. I got uh, 35 overall, I think I missed a full stop, that's the reason. Let me give a try again, get 90 overall by putting a full stop, no change in the scores. What matters, that word has to be there. So I'll just give you a small demo. Um, let's do this again. Okay, I've got the same. One moment, I've got everything ready. I've got the same paragraph. So what do I do? I'll play the audio. I'll show you how I do it. While standing under the shade of an apple tree, Sir Isaac Newton saw an apple fall to the ground. Standing under the shade of apple tree, Sir Isaac. Newton saw apple fall to the ground. I missed few, the 19 words here. So this is what I write. Can I write one, one word, one letter? Uh, it's up to you. Because if you write one letter, when you come back, you forget everything. <laughs> you will not know what was it. So my, my, my suggestion is, instead of writing one letter, write two, three letters of each word. So here, while standing under the shade of apple tree, Sir Isaac Newton saw apple fall to the ground. I'll just play it one more time. While standing under the shade of an apple tree, okay. Sir Isaac Newton saw an apple fall to the ground. I think I've got everything. Now I have to give it a nice shape. Hope you're getting it. So while standing under the shade of apple tree, Sir Isaac. Isaac spelling we will do. Isaac Newton saw apple fall to the ground. Now under the shade, shades 
apple apple some adding singular plural pay more attention most important tactic trees trees isaac spelling i don't know newton correct saw see apple apples fell ye and ye and the the i'm making sure i add all the the because apple is there an apple it could be capital small will not give you any mark anything you can write small letter capital this is what my answer looks like while standing under the shade of apple tree sir isaac newton saw apple fall to the ground ye and and the 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 c isaac lot of things have written so let me just show the answer this is the answer let me just show you how i evaluate while while is there one mark standing standing under the shade under the shade of an apple of apple one of the ants i take i get one mark tree tree comma is not required punctuation no mark sir isaac newton sir isaac newton so an apple so apple but and i'm going to take this apple fall to the apple fall to the ground ground i get 19 mark follow this method and it's not very easy to write it's not just about writing two letters three letters it's listening skill while standing under the shade of an apple tree get a picture of an apple tree there is a shade isaac newton is standing he witnessed he saw the apple fall to the ground see i'm getting that picture because i'm dividing the sentence into phrases see here if you observe carefully while standing under the shade of an apple tree isaac newton saw apple fall to the ground there are four phrases accordingly you have to understand okay let me just show you one more audio i think two more audios how can we apply the growth mindset to creativity in practical terms how can we apply growth mindset to creativity and practical terms this is what i wrote then how can because i'm understanding it apply growth mindset to creativity and practical terms now i read it how can we apply growth mindset to creativity and to practical terms i think how do you apply the creativity in the practical terms probably or two practical terms i'm adding extra words mindset what if it is one word of a the to creativity in on see i don't want to risk i don't want to lose even one mark i'm adding this let me just show the answer how can we apply see here how can we apply the how can we apply the will give me mark growth mindset growth mindset is one word this will not give me mark mindset this will give me mark to creativity to creativity in practical terms practical terms probably i could have added term terms as well i again get a lot of twelve no one of course you knew the audio before well i knew the audio before but even if you give a new idea with this approach i try to get maximum answer all right we go to the one more list of mistakes that you can never recover from is very short the list of mistakes that you can never recover from is very short the list of mistakes that you can never recover from is very short three phrases i'm understanding them now i will add the list of mistakes that you can never recover from is very short now mistake mistakes could can never recover from is r short i think that's it a and the i will not miss in the end the list of mistakes that you can never recover from is very short i think i've got 13 marks the list of mistakes the list of mistakes that you can never recover from that you can never recover from i'm dividing them into phrases is very short is very short I really hope this video served its purpose. This video gave you what you wanted—the entire insights, entire module insights, tips and tricks, the templates. 
what not everything has been given in this video leave a comment if you're happy with this video and want something more like this i'd be more humble more happier than anyone else to come back something like this on a weekly basis if not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for click on the subscribe button and uh, click on the bell icon in order not to miss any of the live updates anytime you need an online assistance do text us in the whatsapp to tell you a lot of people on an everyday basis are getting 90 overall i hope you have seen the same in the youtube shorts as well very soon your friend nakul will come back at the earliest this is nakul signing off from skills pt academic very soon we'll be back till then take care bye bye